Well, good evening. Just uh, just got out of the gym now. Joe, I've been going to the gym on a Friday night. Not not the best of nights, I realise that. It's just the way things have turned out. But I've done it for years. And um, <clears throat> many a time I felt like not going. But I've been fortunate to have this guy who always phones me up called Bob. And Bob will always say to me, John, you're going training tonight. And he's been great for me because even when I was... 10 and 40 and after competing and everything like that it was good to have someone to sort of motivate you but i'm really glad now that i've, I've kept it up that i did keep moving my body because mobility becomes especially as you get older becomes such an important thing and i see some people my age that are struggling to move and it makes you realize how how important it is to move anyway working out and uh, this person says to me what do you do now and i was explaining that i help people find flow in their lives and they always get then the the obvious question well what is flow and when you describe so well, what you do on a normal routine on a normal day i said you wake up in the morning you clean your teeth you probably have a shower a bit of breakfast jump in your car and you're on your way to work i said it's a routine it's a pattern it's something that you just fall into you don't mean to but you just fall into and often then you may tend up turning up at work and you don't even really mean or really think about what it is you've done and suddenly you have this realization that you're living your life just through a routine almost on autopilot but you're not having to really stop and think and you're not doing nothing with it what flow does is that it gives you constant improvements. It teaches you to change and how to change and to make improvements in your change, not for external factors. So in other words, not not to, uh, to primarily to earn more money, to get a promotion, to, to, to increase your role. All those things may follow because you're inevitably going to become mas masterly or better in what you do. All those things will definitely follow. They will definitely ha happen, but you're not doing them for that. You're doing for an intrinsic reward in yourself because as you're doing it, you feel better about what it is you're doing. So you get this reward for you, for yourself. You feel better. You're giving yourself purpose and meaning, and that's what flow is about. And above all else, it has that ability to make you joyful in what you're doing. Joyce Grenfell had a fantastic say. She would say she's an actress, 1950s, and she'd say, there's no such thing as the pursuit of happiness, but there is the discovery of joy. And for me, that's exactly what flow does for you. It gives you that feeling that what you're doing, the way you're spending your time is purposeful. It has meaning, and therefore, as a consequence, it's giving you confidence, and you become more courageous and wanting to change things in your life. So you're not going through that autopilot, running through the same routines all the time. You're actually being trained, trained to change those routines. You know, I did a flow course for a combat unit based in Merseyside and I got fantastic feedback it's on my website fantastic feedback from this combat unit this military combat unit based in Liverpool it gives you that ability to do better in your life to have more meaning and purposeful in your life so look there's a challenge it's on Wednesday the 26th of April you just turn up there is a Facebook group and the group is let's learn to peak first steps to flow challenge just join the group separate it's free one hour spending one hour going through what flow means on the next night for one hour again and on the third night the final night one hour again all about flow it's free so you just turn up and you learn about it if it's going to help you move forward that's great if it's not then that, that's fine but you've only you've only given it three hours that's it and they reckon to become masterly in ev anything you ever do in life you've got to spend a hundred hours in doing it and that hundred hours it's only 20 minutes per day 20 minutes per day that you are giving your time and that equates to over 365 days that equates to 100 hours in one year so the point being is that within a year you can make vast improvements in your life to such a degree that you open up a new reservoir of confidence within you and you become more productive and as a, cons a consequence of that prod productivity in yourself and you're doing it because you feel joyful and meaningful in what you're doing then other things will naturally follow okay so hope to see you there on wednesday the 26th of april